Sessions that ended terribly IRL. What are your horror stories about face-to-face -face games that ended on a particularly bad note, TG? Introducing the cast. Me. Not me. Rob the DM. Tim the ex-DM. Betty the new semi-regular player. Three regular players who don't matter much to the story. Veronica, the semi-regular player's older sister. And Douchebag, the semi-regular player's cousin's boyfriend. Fuck me, that's a mouthful. I know. Tim was previously forever DM, but got replaced by Rob several years ago. Rob was a middling player, but ran great games. Bit fuzzy on the rules, and used a lot of homebrew and house rules, but really fun campaigns. Met my wife through one of his campaigns several years ago. Oh, that's nice. Rob stops gaming at local game store due to not wanting to get saddled with random players anymore. Starts running sessions at his house. Betty joins Grip at behest of one of our regulars. Betty plays several sessions with us for two months without incident. Betty and Betty's mum run into Tim by chance at the store. Betty's mum's suddenly nervous. Won't let Betty come to game night without chaperone. Wait, mm -hmm. what age are these people? I know. Betty's sister Veronica tapped to be the chaperone. Rob okays Veronica showing up to the game. Betty and Veronica show up at game night with Dushbag, who Veronica invited on her own. Veronica and Dushbag show up with beer and weed. Rob refuses to let them in his house with either. Long argument. Dushbag finally stashes beer and weed in his car. Everyone finally gets seated inside. Dushbag mocks everyone for nerd shit. Veronica is uninterested in playing but refuses to be left out. Rob agrees to run a one-shot so Veronica can make a character and participate without messing up ongoing campaign. Rob and Betty help Veronica to make a character. Dushbag trash talks everyone for a bit before going outside. Character building for Veronica takes over an hour because she keeps changing her mind about her character. Session finally starts. Dushbag wanders in drunk like five minutes into the session. Dushbag brought the weed from the car, tries to light a joint. Rob tells him to put the weed away or leave. Dushbag flips gaming table and slugs Rob in the face. Honestly, what the fuck? What the fuck? Like, seriously. Is this his boy's house? Yeah, like, first of all, like... See if I, in I it, it would wind me up. I think yeah. if I invited a few people over and then someone takes things a lot and along, yeah, without even saying, uh -huh. and then, and then he gets on like a cunt. Drinking weed in all your house. He's like, who are you? I don't Who mind you sitting having a drink or whatever if you want to smoke. I don't yeah. really care. But like, actually get the fuck out of my I house. Know. Go away the fuck. That's a, like, and then punches you in the face. Like, honestly, you're looking battered. See getting on like that. See people that get on like that. I know. It's so fucking. Oh, it boils my piss. Like. Tim comes fucking unglued. Skinny, socially awkward, always playing a mute, pure role player Tim. Tim fucks douchebag shit right up. Veronica has to be held back from attacking Tim and slash or Rob by Betty and another player. Police are called. Betty and Veronica's parents are called. Betty and Veronica's parents arrive first. Betty and Veronica's mum comes unglued at seeing douchebag present. I told you to stop hanging around him! Police finally arrive to find Dushbag half unconscious on the porch with a broken nose and jaw and Betty and Veronica's mum beating Veronica with a shoe. <laughs> what the fuck what happened? Fuck? What, what type is of this what, family? What, what dysfunctional people have you met? <laughs> Dushbag gets arrested for assault and weed possession. Rob gets warning from police because Dushbag brought beer to a party and Betty was underage. Betty and Veronica's parents disown Veronica. Refuse to let Betty come to game night anymore and drive off leaving Veronica on the sidewalk. Rob goes into his house, comes out with his real book collection, shoves them into Tim's arms and tells us all to leave. Rob completely cuts contact, doesn't DM or game anymore, eventually moves away. Tim back to being forever DM, blames female drama and bans <laughs> women from coming to his games. Honestly, it doesn't <laughs> sound that loud and reasonable after no. that. Like, if I experienced a situation like, like that, that. I, 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 I would be very wary of people. Leave Tim's grip because wife banned from playing. Pretty much everyone leaves Tim's grip. No one else feels like DMing. Grip collapses. Then after a year of no D&D, the wife and I finally got a line on some of the old grip meeting up to run a campaign. We planned a session at a local game store, and then the Rona hit and our local game store wound up closing down. Haven't heard a peep from anyone else since. Wife exclusively plays D&D through Discord now, and I couldn't get into online play. So, what are your stories? That is a fucking mess. Honest to God. See the, see the idea of people coming around your house and getting on like a deck? I know. And you don't even know them? Oh I, I See, I go like, like you know, okay, is... I, I will admit, okay, I've said this before in a couple of videos, I do have a bit of an abusive personality, I would say, and 
I do think I, I do have a hard time getting along with a lot of people. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I think people take me the wrong way an awful lot of the time. Yeah. But like, see someone getting on like that, you're getting slapped about the place. Oh yeah. No, There's not, you're I, 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 I wouldn't even think twice about no, it. No, you're getting that, that, See that type of behavior, especially in, in my fucking house. You no, know, that happening. that that guy angers me. You know, that's uh, that's <laughs> like let's just keep going with that. But that's a bad fucking story. I hope I hope honestly all the other ones aren't as bad as that because that's yeah. sad. Had one time where a single session of tabletop role-playing games killed the longest standing friendship I've had. That was pretty bullshit. For context, I was around 20 years old at the time and was friends with the entire family for around 10 years by this point. Even the turbo autist younger sister, basically my age, has become super comfortable around me by now. Took at least four years until she could even speak to me though. I GM'd a few games for them, but he offered to run Eclipse Fias, so we took him up on the offer. Group consists of Herman, GM, semi-autistic, and my best friend, Anna, GM's older sister, Landwheel, Lena, GM's smaller sister, 100% Asperger's, <laughs> me, some other dude, playing Eclipse Phase, first time the autismo sister joins into one of our games, explore planetary station that went completely dark for some reason, normal stuff, we look around and split up, I decided to go with autismo girl so I can help ease her in. Find robot that hides and try stabbing out Autismo Girl's eyes. Say that I want to shoot it. For some reason, Autismo Girl fell super in love with the robot that just tried to kill her. Tells me not to kill the robot. Retarded, but alright. Let her try to speak with the obviously hostile robot. Three attempts of the robot to kill her later decide my character had enough of this fillery and shoots the robot. Suddenly everyone looks at me like I pissed on the table. <sighs> what do you do? What do you do? Alright, weird, but autism, I guess. Decide it's better to split up from autismo to prevent further such instances. At this point, every player character is completely separated from the others. We explore different parts of the station. Everyone gets their scene while I have to wait around two to three real-time hours without doing anything. Effectively have to wait for every other character to finish their shit with a finger up the ass because I happen to choose the right area to explore and GM wants everyone to go there together get frustrated every time I say I want to go inside and the GM just ignores me and deals with the other players. Finally tell GM that it's retarded that my character would stand around for two hours for no reason and that I want to go in there. Gives me a short and rushed combat encounter to shut me up. Can tell everyone is absolutely pissed at me by now. By this point my mood is absolutely horrible. I've never felt so unwelcome and disliked in that household before. Decide to just basically drop out of the game and spent the rest of the session quietly on my phone. Go home after the session. Write on Facebook that I value the friendship, but I don't think role playing is going to work out with him due to different playstyles. Landwheel goes ballistic, basically breaking up the entire friendship over that incident. Due to overlapping friend circles, get ostracized from my entire circle of friends. Ex best friend messaged me a few weeks later for my birthday. Says he's sorry about what happened. Tells me Landwheel basically forbids anyone from the family to talk to me ever again. Don't have any friends in my hometown anymore since then. 27 now. Found a great grip on Rule 20 that I play with two times a week for the past five years. I know I made some mistakes as well, and there were certainly a number of different factors to it, but holy shit, with a whole family of autists, one bad session is enough to break a 10 year friendship. That's fucking sad. That is so sad. Honestly, what a horrible example of a human being to be like, like, okay. Over a game. Over, over a game. Are you really gonna. If t- I broke friendships up over Monopoly. Me and James wouldn't be together. <laughs> oh yeah, like I'm brutal at Monopoly. I'm I'm the fucking king but if of Monopoly. You, if you broke, and I'm not even the banker. Over... I, that's how I know I'm good at Monopoly, right? <laughs> but if you broke friendships over games so easily, they weren't really your friends anyway. Yeah, I, that's the way I would view it. Yeah, I would view that as it's a very childlike view. Yeah. And it's actually kind of sad, if I be honest with you. Yeah. This vi- this video is actually just making me upset. I know. This I'm I, just I, getting. I, 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 Angry and upset I, that people are hurting people like this. <laughs> you know, I really expect better from people. I know. And it's, you know, imagine being friends with someone for 10 years and then, and then also. It's not even the them fucking, who broke they, off the friendship, and, it's the sister. sister. And they go along with it and they're okay with it. Yeah, that was my sister. I'd tell her, tell her, tell her Actually, fuck off. Actually, fuck off. You don't control who I'm friends with and off. I really hope this hasn't happened to any of you guys. I, yeah. Like, let's just keep going with this, but... This, <laughs> can, can we go for something nice, Megan? I want the next post to be nice. Oh, well, I don't know. <laughs> and now, the models of our website. 
brought to you by neckbeardia.co.uk. Get you all some of these titties. Dwarf titties, or titties, cat titties, fat titties, the gases and we assist a bit. Vampires and goblins and all the buff champions and even hentai, yeah that too. Dragons, madricors, ogres and no sound bug bearers and even more to you go still. Undead and demons and then our friend Pally and definitely not 40k. Wood elves, dark elves and lizards and Megan the Slither and James the look cool as he stands. Beholders and kobolds and tyrants and only in a donkey with a frying pan. If you don't want no models, then no need to bother. We now have subclasses and tees. Also, Garbro's book. Go have a look. Check out the link to Kofi. Thank you for watching our videos and giving our channel a hand. But this is the end, our viewers and friends. So let's get back to the video, man. <laughs> I fucking hate myself. <laughs> Join a newly formed Roll20 group. DM chose people independently. He chose two gays, Irish gillies. <laughs> Not us, by the way. <laughs> Who are playing Dragonborn <laughs> in a relationship. You know, everyone calls us skillies. Everyone like, calls us skillies. St stop selling uh, fucking Sex business. Sex sells, like, guys. And I'm not... You're the ones who are buying them. Like, like all the I'm saying is... The lizard, <laughs> the lizards with the big fat titties. Top sellers. <laughs> top sellers, by far. All right? You tell, are you telling me you're not going to pull off a tear off this? <laughs> Check out the models, it actually does help us out a lot. We got, yeah, plenty, a, we lot. got, we got a lot of fat titties, like, I mean, <laughs> a lot of them. One was a druid, so they were absolutely transforming into animals while they fucked. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. About five sessions in, the sessions in, okay, Sean Connery, the Dragonborn Paladin's player lets out a scream after he trips and feels the check of the third trap in a row. His partner apologises and leaves, saying the Paladin's player struggles with feelings of inadequacy. What is this cock tiny or something? <laughs> I guess he's got one of those like actual like micro cocks. <laughs> I guess the inner party banter of "damn dude, that sucks." Haha, <laughs> sometimes it's like that. And let me take the lead spot. I have plenty of hit points. Was too much for him. Cut the session three hours short. The paladin's player later gets into an argument with the DM over a feat he took that would let him carry a ton of shit. The DM was ruling that yes, you can lift that much, but you still need a way to actually hold all of that shit. That's why you hire a peasant, like Monty, <laughs> Monty Python style. Or just bring along a donkey. Yeah, just, here, here, we got donkeys. Yeah, we do. We got donkeys. Apparently yells at the DM over direct messages. Leaves the game without saying goodbye. His partner leaves shortly. Replace them before next session. Still play with that grip to this day. Pick related with some art they commissioned for their characters. I still think the face of the paladin looks fucking horrifying. It, oh, hold I on, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. <laughs> why? Okay. Why? Honestly, though, why would you like? You know, you just get bad goals sometimes. Yeah, you know, it just I've been playing a wizard, so I have for a while. Sometimes and you roll, and it's just it just it's not happening for you. It's just not happening. Either for you. on roll twenty or IRL, just some sometimes, days it just doesn't happen. Yeah, you just don't have the luck of the roll. It's. But like, that's what makes it a it's game. It's, 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 it's putting it into a chance. All you can do is increase your chances of probability. Don't matter if you've got, got a plus 10. If you've got a plus 10, you can still only get a maximum of a 10 or 11 or whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just... Like, for me, I've been playing a wizard, as I say, and I don't think I've gold. I've had, what, maybe 15 to 20 sessions, and I think I've gold maybe 15 on Arcana checks mm -hmm. once. Everything else is bumbling with that. Mm -hmm. And I'm supposed to fucking know this shit. <laughs> but I just never go for it. So, well, I never get it. This session was fucking hell for me. Be me. Dwarf monk. Elf fetish. Ganassi sorcerer. Manlet. Lawful stupid... <laughs> lawful stupid paladin. Partrip. Asshole ego boosting GM. Partrip is some weird fetish of using this merchant that only sold heavily cursed items for cheap. Elf Fetish has a goal to buy as many cheap cursed items as they could. Buys cursed deck of many things. Oh, Hi. Every time someone drew from it, something bad happened. But it's fucking cursed. Of course. It's a, it's a, it's a <laughs> deck of many all things. all the good cards You're and just leave all the shit ones. The chances of getting anything good. <laughs> oh. Manlet decides to draw from it, not once, but twice. On the second draw, he pops away into a prison in hell. So he's gone for the rest of the session. <laughs> <laughs> Me and the elf fetish fall asleep at the end of the day of travelling. Somehow our dreams sucked us both separately into the fucking domain of this... Yeah, one of those cop Tanari girl thing, Like, hermaphrodites, I think they are. demon lord. Yeah. That par trip would not shut the fuck up about out of campaign because it was the one infernal being 
that he made up. Okay. I don't know if I would want to be associated with making that up. By the way, guys, this is my creation. <laughs> I made this. Well, look, 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 look at this. Look, it's look, it's got it's got a uh, it's got both bits. So it does you say? <laughs> it's got look, both bits. It's got both bits. It's Ask, really creative. Just saying. <laughs> Asks to fuck my character for coin. <laughs> I mean, wait, so wait, so or, wait, or, or he's getting paid. <laughs> he's getting paid. Yeah, am I getting paid? <laughs> am I getting paid? Or <laughs> asks to fuck my character for coin. I make the smart decision. And get the fuck out of rapist dream life. <laughs> Other player accepts. Getting a horrid fucking description of the event. Almost making me puke. Elf Fetish wakes up with 300 fucking extra gold. Wait, she oh got paid. God. They you got, got paid. paid. No. They got paid to get fucked. Immediately, <laughs> what, do you, what do you say about that? Immediately performs an abortion with cold touch. <laughs> Oh my god, that's comic gold! <laughs> Freaking anybody who was normal out. So only me. <laughs> Everyone gets upset at me for complaining about it. I thankfully got kicked out of that group a week later because I was the only person who didn't suckle on Par Trip's cock at every opportunity. Oh, by the way, guys, so I oh, made this. Thank uh, god. I made this um, sucky bus with both bets, you see. But, you know, the big good thing is, see, if you fuck it, you get money. You get paid. <laughs> Honestly, is this some form of, like, weird way of bribing your players? Of getting to be like, him? Yeah, get, okay, look, look, okay, guys. I'll, I'll give you I'll, 300 I'll, gold. I'll give you some money, right? If you let me uh, indulge in my Kumar fantasy. Yes. Yeah. Oh, how many people have done this? Probably Honestly, more than what we are willing to think about. Honestly, it's actually a pretty good it idea. It's actually a pretty I'll, good idea. I'll, I'll, I'll give them credit. To be honest, James, what? if somebody offered you 300 gold in game, you would do it because you just take money like it's nobody's business. Like, like, You'd, gob- be gobby, You'd be fucking a sucky. You'd be fucking a sucky. Gobby's not a whore, all right? Gobby, well... Gobby's a whore for 300 gold. Gobby's Gobby's a millionaire in game, all right? Gobby's, At this a, point, Gobby's Gobby, a whore Gobby, for, go, for Gobby, shinies. Gobby, Gobby wants the shinies, no, so no, Gobby's, Gobby suck go, a go, 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 Gobby, No way, Gobby would not be doing that, all right? <laughs> I'll have you know, my Gobby would never be my, associated. My Gobby? My Gobby would never be associated with such things. <laughs> First of all, he would hire them. He would import them from another planet make, <laughs> on a high margin. That's what it, Gobby would do. Gobby would be... Yeah, Gobby would be a sex trafficker. <laughs> Is that what I'm saying? Yes, Gobby would be a sex trafficker. <laughs> all right, let's keep going. <laughs> Playing Star Wars RPG with DM and four other players. Let's name the other players Stan, Cal, Kenny and Cartman. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're a band of mercenaries hired by the Emperor to root out rebel sympathisers on a factory planet. Cartman is notorious for trying to forcibly make himself the main character out of any campaign he's in. While he goes off on his own doing his own thing with Kenny, the rest of us get on with the mission. Whenever it's those two's part of the session, Stan, Kyle and I text back and forth so we can be on the same page on what's going on and what we're going to do without disturbing the others. Cartman gets progressively angry at this. Eventually Stan, Kyle and I root out the rebels blackmail the factory high-ups into giving us a payoff equal to the bounty and alert the Empire. Cartman throws a sheet and dice across the room and storms out of the DM's apartment. As it turns out, he had wanted the group to go deep undercover with the rebels so he could lead the Emperor to Yavin 4. This, obviously, would have ruined the DM's adventure serial-style session he had planned. Walks back in and demands that he gets to try to kill me, Stan, and Kyle's characters in retaliation. Oh, why? DM tells him to fuck off, and he does. We all nervously laugh off Cartman's explosion, thinking he'll come back and we'll finish the session. 20 minutes pass by. The DM gets a phone call from Cartman to complain about how awful we all are. He then proceeds to call us individually to grill us... <laughs> <laughs> to grill us on if we really are his friends and if we have planned to fuck him over from the beginning. Just to spite him, the DM cancels the Star Wars game indefinitely. Literally the next day, Cartman asks if we want to play in his much better Shadowrun campaign. This guy has been the death of every single <laughs> game he's ever played in. <laughs> like, just... Like, just, like... Why does one group of friends always have that person? Though? Yeah, there is always one one fellow. And everybody like that. always tolerates them. Yeah, you, you, you know what the thing is? You just kind of get used to them. And it's like, ah, don't worry about it. You know, he's just like that. He's yeah. just a bit spurgy on it. It's fine. Don't uh-huh. don't don't get too. But there is up. always that one guy in that group of friends. Yeah, I've came across. Yeah, them. I don't think they mean any harm though. They don't really no, mean I to be harmed. No, I just don't think they know how to control. Their spurginess. It just leaks out. Yeah. <laughs> 
But like, is that not the point of the sparginess? It's kind of, you can't go, you can go. Yours out all the time. Yeah, exactly. Mine falls out of my pockets. It's like, <laughs> shit, guys. <laughs> shit. But yeah, I think that's where we're going to end it today. Yeah. The first couple of stories were fucking sad, if I'd be honest yeah. with you. They were really sad. They got better, though. I enjoyed them. I, I think they got progressively yeah. more enjoyable for and me personally. This thread's massive, so we'll probably continue this yeah, on we'll a go, later date. Yeah, we'll come back to this at another time. I've already told you guys a story about my one, like, actually argue this week. So yeah, I won't so. bother telling you that story again. If you want to watch yesterday's the day before his video to find out. Yeah, but we will come back and do this thread. But if you have any of your own, like IRL <sighs> stories like, of people stories just like walking this, out, people taking a huff with you, let us know. people being awkward. Yeah, let definitely because um we haven't done a comment video in ages. Yeah, we want to get a video that have, has a good yeah. amount of your guys comments and we need enough of them you, we, 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 need, we need a good few of them yeah. to actually make a video so yeah. i hope so, that you guys spend the time to do a wee quick idol if yeah. that's what you're into if you yeah. want to be in it and while you're down there check out the links to the website so you can check out big fat lizard titties all them models like we got we got we got teddy classes. like we got titties galore you, yeah. you get you guys like fucking titties we got titties you and guys got like everything you, you guys like mu- you like guys like big muscly orcs we got them big muscly orcs. the thighs the I fucking think there's thighs. even like the one or two models there that might have a willy out. So go check. Yeah, there actually is a couple models with their cocks hanging out. To. So like, if you want, like, oh, I'm not even joking. Well, I, I can't show you in the video, but see if you go onto the website and go to the cursed elves and then go to sleeve tokens, the lead version. Ooh, the, 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 one of the guys is, is cock looks like Squidward's nose. It's actually kind of funny. <laughs> it's not. It's not the greatest room sculptor for the honest with you guys. But like, you know, do you really want to be a great sculptor or cock? <laughs> <laughs> but so. hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified every time we post and we'll see you in the next video bye <laughs>